All right, so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is the front since I heard that that was the most difficult. And there wasn't a lot of videos to show me how to do all this, so I just had to go with like trial and error. So I didn't want to break any of the emblems, so what I did for the front is that I opened up the hood here, and I wanted to see if I can get behind it. Basically what I did is I took the screwdriver, and I got behind it as best I can without breaking it, so you start from the top and kind of make your way in. And the only thing holding that thing in place is two little clamps there. Um, so once you kind of get it off, you can see where those clamps are. And you can just kind of twist and turn the screwdriver so it kind of pops it off. It's not that hard, it actually just takes a lot of fiddling to get that thing off. It was the hardest one for sure. So just take the sticky tape here and then just... Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, so take the plastic off and then take the little heat gun, heat up the surface of the sticky stuff. Uh, so that it stays firm, and this way when you put it on, it adheres better to the surface. So, press as hard as you can to make sure that thing stays there! <laughs> Got it! Okay, there we go. Jeez. Alright, so just take a little towel and just kind of wipe your nasty little fingerprints on it so you can take a look and make sure you got it on perfectly. Now for the back, I just did the took the heat gun and I went around the surface of the Veloster badge so I can get a little bit inside and kind of disperse that heat so that the sticky stuff can melt. Uh, don't worry about melting your paint in your car because that gun's not going to be that powerful to melt your car. Because your, your cars can sit out in the sun all day and it's not going to hurt it. Uh, but just make sure you're not sitting there for a very long time heating it up. Because it'll definitely destroy something. Now I just took this little card here and I just kind of got underneath it so that way I can peel it off. Um, you have to kind of go back and forth between the heat gun and the card to make sure that the whole thing comes off evenly. Same thing here, just take the heat gun and go in between the cracks of the emblem so that you can heat up the surface or that little sticky stuff and take the screwdriver. See, I took the screwdriver with a towel because I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to break it. I didn't want to damage it. So I just kind of gently twisted the screwdriver, pulled it off and bam, there you go. It's not hard. It just takes a lot of finagling and making sure that you heat up the surface enough so that it comes off. Now I got to get rid of this nasty kind of residue that the sticky stuff left behind or the three millimeter tape that left behind. So what I did is I took some lacquer, and I'll show you in the screen here, boom! That's the stuff I use, it's good cleaning material, it's not gonna hurt your car, I've used it many 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 times. And you just take that and kind of rub the surface of that sticky stuff and it'll eventually come off. And then just take like a regular dry towel, make sure it's clean, there's no weird fingerprints and nothing's on it. It won't hurt your paint, trust me on that. Uh, same thing here, just heat up the sticky stuff on the badge or on the surface and just place it on there as best as you can to make sure everything lines up so it looks stock and it doesn't look weird or lopsided. Press as hard as you can on all the badges to make sure that they stay perfectly because otherwise if you don't press hard enough it's gonna f eventually fall off when you start driving around for a while because that sticky stuff hasn't adhered enough to the surface. So make sure you heat it up enough so that some of the stickiness of it kind of, how do I say this? It's kind of like, uh, gets like gooey and sticky, you know? So then when it dries, it adheres very well to that surface, like a clamp. You're like you're connecting to like a piece of paper. It clamps right onto that surface. So with all that said, uh, it's not a very hard process to do. It doesn't take a lot of time. Actually, it took me about two hours to do because like I said, that first one on the front was a pain in the neck. So you just have to figure it out, you know, what makes it tick. So after a while, when I took it off and I looked at it, like these are the two clamps that, you know, I had to unhinge basically. And then, like I said, you clean it up, you make it look nice. 
So I had to wait a few days for me to do a proper photo shoot or a video shoot for the ending of this video, and I did, which was yesterday. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take good care of your cars. They will last forever. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you goons later. Oh, if you do have any questions about anything, make sure to let me know down in the comments too. See ya.